been getting myself in the Halloween spirit by binging some scary movies, but with this one, still can't get past the trailers. What's up everyone, welcome to Sketch Saturday. In today's lesson, we'll be creating a realistic illustration of Pennywise from IT. Now we're going to get started by sketching a large circle in the center of our page to define the size of the forehead. Now I use a side grip of my pencil, using the flat edge, let's start at the very top. I'm just going to work our way around towards the side of the circle, and then come down towards the bottom. And just working our way around the right side. I'm just using these short little lines and just going back and just readjusting as I go. Now once we have our circle, I'm going to start adding some guidelines. Let's start at the very top. We're going to sketch a straight line coming down the center of our page. We we'll work our way down towards the bottom of the circle, and then extend this all the way down towards the bottom. I'm also going to pull this all the way up towards the top. Let's add another guideline on the side of the circle. Again, going up to the top, and then down the sides. And now we're going to add a guideline going across the center, the top, and bottom of the circle. Let's start on the left. Going across the center, along the top, and then the bottom. Now we're just going to go in lightly because we're eventually going to be erasing these out. Once we have our guidelines in place, we start blocking out the facial features. Now we're going to tilt the head forward so the eyes are going to sit along the bottom edge of this circle. Let's start by blocking in the inside edge of the eyes, leaving a gap in the center. Let's go to the left side, sketch a straight line coming down. I'm just going to pull it down to right about there and take that same distance over on the right side. And then moving to the inside of that guideline, I'm just going to curve the eye going up towards the circle and then down on the side. I'm going to do the same thing on the right, going up and then pulling that down. Now I'm going to tuck the bottom of the eyes in underneath the eyelid. On the left side, we're going to step in, just curve down, round this out, and then pull that up on the inside. Do the same thing on the right, coming down towards the same height and then up underneath the eyelid. And then we'll add the bottom edge of the pupils underneath the eyelid. Starting back on the left, we curve down, then up. Let's go back to the inside of the eyes and curl up the brow. Coming in and then up with a very faint line. Now the eyebrows are going to start from the inside of the eye, follow the circle going out. Trace that circle going up to right about there on both sides. And then we'll bend the eyebrow coming out and then down. Sort of aiming towards that bottom corner of the square. I also want to add a thick shadow underneath each eye. So we're going to step out, just going to trace the bottom of the eye coming down and then up underneath the brow. And then using the flat edge of our pencil, we're just going to lightly shade that in. Now we're going to move to the center and locate the bottom edge of the nose. So somewhere around here, we're just going to sketch a line going across. And it's okay to extend this past the sides. Let's move to the center, sketch a small circle going around towards the top of the nose, and then back down. And then from the top of the nose, we're just going to curve down and then up towards the line on the side. And then we'll round out the nostrils, going around and then in towards that bottom line. And then we're going to lightly shade in the nose. Let's move down and mark the top edge of the mouth. So right about here, it's going to sketch a line going all the way out towards the sides. And then from the outside line, we're just going to curve the mouth going out and then up towards that nose line. I'm going to round this out and just pull that back in. I'm just going to curve that in and up underneath the bottom edge of the eye. I'm 
Let's go back and draw the bottom edge of the mouth. Starting back on the left, it's going to curve down the middle, round this out, and go back up on the right. And then we'll add that thick lower lip. On the left side, we're going to step out, start by curving in and then down. And we'll round out the bottom of the lip and then go back up on the right. Let's lightly shade the lower lip. Now we're gonna move out and add some shape to the outside of the head. Let's start from the outside of the brow. Start by coming straight down. I'm just gonna round up the cheek and pull that in towards that bottom line. And then we'll continue to pull the cheek in towards the chin. So we're just gonna curve this in to right about there. And then we'll bend the chin coming down. Coming in and then down. And then we'll round out the bottom of the chin. Coming down in the middle and then back up on the right. Let's go back up and bend the side of the hand going up towards the side of the circle. It's going to go up and then bend that out. Let's add the ears on the side of the head. Starting from the side of the brow, curve up and out. It's going to round out the side of the ear, coming down on the side of that line. And pull this down and in towards the side of the head. Let's move all the way up to the top and add some shape to that center piece of the hair. We're going to start on the left side of the circle, come down, and then up, almost like a half circle. And then from the left side, we're just going to curve up and then in towards the center point. And then we'll add the hair along the side of the head. Let's start from the side of the ear. We're just going to start by curving out. And then just pull that up and just bend that in along the top. Do the same thing on the right. Starting from the side of the ear, go out, up, and then bend that in. Let's go back to the left side. We're just going to curve this down and then bend that up towards the side of the circle. Line this up on the right. Do the same thing. Now from that tip, we're going to step in, curve in and up towards that corner of that square. And then from here, it's going to curve this up and in behind that centerpiece. Let's move back down and block in that ruffled collar. We're going to start from the base of the hair and go down and out towards the sides. And we'll connect the ends with a curve. We're just going to come down in the middle, round out the bottom, and go back up on the right side. Now at this stage, I'm going to step back and take one final look at the proportions before erasing out these guidelines. Now my favorite part of the drawing process is adding some detail and definition. Let's go in with the tip of our pencil. We're going to start with the eyes. Just working around the contour of the eyes. And just adding some shape as we go.
I'm also darkening up that shadow underneath each eye. So going back and just separating out the teeth and adding a shadow on the outsides.
And then to add the texture in the hair, I'm just using the side edge of my pencil and just pulling up from the hairline. Just working my way up along the sides. And then going back with the tip of my pencil and going over with some texture. And then finally going back and just adding a little bit of texture to the ruffled collar. Just pulling these lines from the head coming out.
And as we get closer to the end, I'm going to continue to add some more texture to the collar and also add a dark shadow in the back. And that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of Pennywise. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.